Hi, it's Erica from Prixie Pets. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a sanitary trim on your dog. Shaving your dog's private parts can help keep your pup cleaner and, well, more sanitary. Short-haired dogs don't typically need this done because their hair is short enough down there, but longer-coated dogs can get pretty messy if it's not taken care of. The longer-coated dog's hair will grow and grow, especially if they have hair, not fur. Once the hair on their little bums gets too long, you can start to find poop dangling from there, or aka dingleberries. Using a clipper on a short setting to shave the hair around their buttholes helps tremendously. Also, around a dog's penis or vagina, the dog hair can start to get matted when it's too long, and then saturated with pee. This can be very irritating and eventually harmful to the dog. So giving your dog a sanitary trim can help keep them cleaner and healthier in between professional groomings, but please learn how to do it safely because these are very tender areas. What you need. Some clippers. I use Andis clippers, and if this is something you will be doing monthly and may even try cutting other areas of your pet yourself, I highly recommend them. There are other cheaper options, which I will link up in the description if you're only gonna need this every once in a while. You are going to need the right blade. On the Andis Clipper, I use a 10 blade. Animal blades are different from human blades, so just be aware. The length of a pet blade size 10 is 1 16th of an inch. This is the perfect length that will last you at least a month, but not too short that it will irritate your pup's skin. Try and do this in a quiet area where there are not any distractions. You want your pup to sit as still as possible. I also recommend putting the smaller dogs up on a table so you have better control and can see easier. Good lighting is also a must. Once the pup is at a good height and you can see underneath them and in between their legs, you can get started. If they've never had a clipper on them before, slowly introduce it to them and give them treats to make it a positive experience. Now, lift up one of the back legs and then pull it out so you can see the dog's private parts. Be sure to go with the dog's body. Don't pull, yank, or stretch the dog's legs straight out. This is uncomfortable for them. Now, start shaving the inside of the dog's leg, like the inner thigh area, moving towards the dog private. Do small strokes and make sure to avoid the loose skin in the dog's tuck-up area. This can be cut easily if the clippers go near it. Now, start shaving the inside of the dog's leg, like the inner thigh area, moving towards the dog's privates. Do small strokes and make sure to avoid the loose skin in the dog's tuck-up area. This can be cut easily if the clippers go near it. Repeat the above step on the other side. If it's a small dog, lift the front feet up now and shave the lower abdomen of the dog. For male dogs, you may want to go a little further up because they tend to pee on their bellies. Now you want to shave around the dog's butthole. Start by lifting the tail so you can see. Many dogs instinctually sit down. This can be difficult, so you can ask for help, and what they can do is just place their arm under the dog's belly to prevent them from sitting. If you have no help and your dog is small enough, you can put your arm under them and then still reach around to lift the dog's tail. Start shaving with how the hair grows be small strokes toward the butthole. Just be careful to not shave the actual butthole because it can get nipped. Thank you so much for watching and now I hope you have a cleaner pup in between groomings. Please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because we have more grooming videos coming out soon. Also like us on Facebook and Instagram. See you soon! No more dingleberries, no more dingleberries, no more dingleberries, yeah!